If you want to see how I made this paper tray slash file holder out of cereal boxes, just keep watching. So the first step is to take three cereal boxes of the same height and width and cut off one side of each box. Step two is to glue the boxes together, one on top of the other like so. Next step is to cut enough of the contact paper to cover the top, back, and bottom of the boxes with about one to two inches extra on the bottom and the top. the contact paper to come about two inches past the sides of the boxes so I cut off the extra paper but I held on to that piece because I needed to add it back on later. When applying the contact paper, it's best to peel back only a small amount of the backing at first, then continue peeling as you apply it, instead of taking the whole back paper off all at once. I'm using my Cricut scraper tool to smooth out any air bubbles. Now I'm taking the excess piece I cut off earlier and I'm cutting it in half to cover the sides of the center box. Cut the corners of the contact paper so that it can be folded in to cover the box edges. I cut two rectangular pieces of the contact paper to cover the sides making sure to match the direction of the wood grain pattern. I just turned the box on its side to make it easier for me to apply from the top.
Lastly, I cut two pieces of contact paper to match the width of the box that were about two inches wide to cover the front edges. And there you have it. You can use this laying down on its side to hold craft papers or documents or stand it up for file folders. See you next time.